concurrent resolution is agreed to and the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. And the benefits that they earn. I'm proud of the good work that my team has delivered to the tens of thousands of constituents who've turned to our office for their time and need. My staff delivered for me because they delivered for you every day, 24 seven. I was never more excited than the day I walked into this chamber six years ago. I leave here with sadness and humility. For those whom I've let down, I will work tirelessly to make it up to you. I know that God has a plan for my life. The good book tells us that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I also know that every person faces adversity in life. Abraham Lincoln held this seat in Congress for one term, but few faced as many defeats in his personal, business, and public life as he did. His continual perseverance in the face of these trials, never giving up, is something all of us Americans should be inspired by, especially when going through a valley in life. I believe that through life's struggles, we learn from our mistakes and we learn more about ourselves. And I know that this is not the end of a story, but rather the beginning of a new chapter. Thank you for the honor to serve. I look forward to keeping in touch with my friends in this chamber and my friends across the 18th district. May God continue to bless this awesome institution and important role that it plays for America and the rest of the world. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. The, the gentleman from Illinois yields back. Under the speaker's announced policy of January 6, 2015, the